All the stakeholders are unanimous in opposing Japan's decision. But is dumping it into the sea the only viable method of dealing with the contaminated wastewater? Experts suggest that the Japanese government has four other disposal options, namely releasing the wastewater into the atmosphere through evaporation, injecting it deep underground through a pipeline, disposing of it via electrolysis, and solidifying it and burying it underground. Of the five methods, releasing it into the sea is the cheapest. Chernobyl和电站,它是采用了最廉价的一种方法 Japan has taken the unilateral decision to discharge the wastewater into the sea. It costs the least financially, but the cost in terms of damage to the environment, human health and safety is being borne by the whole world. Through its action, Japan is ignoring its obligations under international law and as a contracting party to the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Article 192 of the Convention stipulates that states have an obligation to protect and preserve the marine environment. And Item 1 of Article 194 stipulates that states shall take all measures that are necessary to prevent, reduce and control pollution of the marine environment using the best practical means at their disposal and in accordance with their capabilities. 日本动辄也是谈规则的，动辄呢跟着美国的步伐，谈所谓以规则为基础的秩序。但是很明确的是，不管是在排污的问题上，还是呢在安全、军事、战略等问题上，当他们这些国家谈规则的时候，所谓的